setup here it's got up and down right here so if you pull it down you turn the water on it'll make a siphon but if you pull it push it back up it's going to send water through the tube so I'm going to pull this down and I'm just running this all the way in here and I made this little uh, PVC contraption here so I can suck water out of both sides and then when it puts water in it'll blow it out of both sides got the tube hooked up so let's turn the siphon on all you gotta do is turn the water on there's the water coming There it goes. And let's go watch this. Make sure one of my fishes don't get sucked up in it. Uh, where's that little guy? Okay, there he is. So, yeah, there's my little fish. And as you can see, there's also a uh, valve that comes with this. So, if you want to shut it off real quick, you can shut it off. But I'm just going to do a uh, 15 gallon water change. I need to get all this stuff back here too though Whoa. get all this nasty stuff here and I turned off the heater and all the pumps and everything like that so everything's gonna be good It'll take a minute to start that siphon back up. And if you're doing a fresh water tank, all you do is pop this up and twist it, and it'll push the water through here. But since I'm doing a salt water tank, yeah, the siphon stopped. Okay. So since I'm doing a salt water tank, I gotta hook it up to my uh, my salt water bucket. Here's my saltwater bucket. Uh, I put RODI water in here first. It's plumbed through this uh, float valve here. And while I'm waiting for the uh, salt water, you know, to do my water change, I just simply, uh, you know, run it around with the pump here. I'm using the JBO DCP 5000. There's the controller right there. I only have it at 50% because it's a uh, it's pretty strong on 100%. So now let's stop it for a second, and I'm gonna hook this hose up to send my hand to it so we can fill the tank back up. Now we hook the hose up to this pump here. I just simply got the uh, three quarter inch adapter with a three quarter inch uh, whatever that is it goes over it and then it has some uh, treads in there and I just hooked it up to a uh, nipple with a tread on this side so let's dunk this in let's get this tank filled back up okay let's go ahead turn this puppy up and let's see how it works so it looks like it's pushing water through There we go. So you can see the bubbles kind of forming there. Once it all comes out, it'll be all right. Yep, there we go. So we'll just let this tank fill up and 
We're done with the water changes, and the best thing of all, we didn't have to pick up one single bucket. And this pump is also on 50%, uh, just depending on how fast this actually is, I may have to turn it down just a little bit, but it looks like 50% may be perfect. So, yep, that's it. The water change station. And as you can see, with 50% on the pump, it's not pushing it too much, so it's not going to stir up everything in your tank. One side note that you will still have to do is uh, all this detritus and poop and buildup and junk. You're still going to have to get a separate siphon hose and you know suck that out into a bucket, but shouldn't be more than a couple gallons or so if you do this weekly. You know, maybe just a gallon at the most. So. All in all, uh, the actual hose here, it's a uh, Python uh, water changer. It's mainly used for fresh water. This costs $75 since I got the 50 foot version. Uh, the food grade barrel here, 55 gallons, is probably going to run you 40 bucks at TexasTotesAndBarrels.com. Uh, they have a location at Waxahachie and one in Dallas I believe or maybe Garland I'm not entirely sure uh, the heater everybody should have a heater so that's just pretty much a given this little float valve here to fill up your RODI water I believe I got it for about eight bucks or something on a bulk resupply and so all in all together you know plus the uh, well the pump which you should have a, a good size pump already if you have a return pump but this pump, I think, cost me about 50 bucks on Amazon. And then the kit to convert the pump to where you can put this hose on, the couple parts, probably about three bucks. So you're looking over, you know, right at a little over a hundred bucks, but not to carry, you know, all these buckets, you know, plus more. Every time you do a water change, it's definitely worth it. Plus you're not gonna hurt your back and hurt anything else. So in my book, it's definitely worth it. Because I've got one, two, three, four tanks here. So it's a pain in the ass to do water changing with buckets every weekend. So, all right, guys, hope you liked it. Uh, let me know what you think. And if there's anything I can approve on it or if there's anything you approve, let me know. Thank you guys for watching.